Hello Capricorn. Capricorn, welcome to your reading. Let's have a look to see the messages that you need to know at this present moment in time. Let's have a look to see the message that is coming up for you. The first message that is coming up for you, Capricorn, the divine is wanting you to know that you're currently working with divine timing. There are some seasons in your life that are currently changing and the divine is saying, make your wishes known to the divine. Because you're going to be seeing that not only are you going to be going in a new direction, everything is just going to be working out for you easily. As if your guides and your ancestors have already set the way. They've already paved the way for you. So your guides and your ancestors are saying to you that it is time for you not to doubt yourself. It is time for you to go in that new direction. I love this for you. The divine is saying to you that it is important for you to follow your intuition, because in doing so, luck is going to be following you. In doing so, you're going to be seeing that again, like I already said, it is as if your guides and your ancestors have already set the way for you. Let's get another card to see what is coming up for you. Two cards have come up. So the divine is saying that for some of you, you are currently going through some type of struggle. It is important for you not to lose yourself in that struggle. It is important for you to understand that your guides and your ancestors are working with you and they are walking with you. So don't lose yourself in any type of struggle that you're currently going through because we have already highlighted that you're currently changing seasons. So the struggle is over. The winter of your life, the winter that you're experiencing, that darkness is now shifting over to the energies of spring. So the divine, your guides and your ancestors are saying to you that there are going to be some gifts. There are going to be some revelations. There is going to be important information that is going to be coming to you when you are sleeping. For some of you, there's just going to be a premonition. There's just going to be an inner knowing that just happens and it is going to be guiding you connected to your intuition. So again, don't doubt your intuition. Follow your intuition because your intuition is indicating that again, you are lucky. Make your wishes known to the divine because when you are in that energy of understanding that you're going with the ebb and flow of life, everything just happens easier. But when you are pushing, when you are pushing, this is when you get lost in the struggle. This is when life just becomes more challenging. And again, the divine is saying that the seasons are changing. This is now over. You have done enough fighting and now it is time for you to rest. It is time for you to lean into the energies of spring. When things start changing, when things start growing, where life just becomes a lot easier. So listen to your dreams, follow the luck, and it is going to be leading you to new beginnings because you are working with divine timing. So what we're going to do, we're going to get some tarot cards on the table to elaborate more on the messages that are here. And as we're getting our tarot cards, I want to remind you of the services that I offer. I do return to sender services, banishing ceremonies, if you just feel that there are some heavy energies around you, have a look at my website and see what is calling out for you. Maybe you need to do that spring clean spiritually. So I do spiritual cleanses as well. So there's a lot that is on my website. Go in the description box below and go and have a look what is calling out for you. For those of you wanting to learn tarot, the tarot course is also available on my website. So now we have your tarot cards on the table and you have interesting tarot cards that are here. They're all connected to expansion. They're all connected to you remembering that you are the magician. You are the architect of your life. So the divine is saying that again, it is important for you to follow your intuition because your intuition is leading you to lucky breaks. <clears throat> like I already said, there are new beginnings that are here because you're working with divine timing. And what does the magician do? The magician works with divine energies. So you are remembering that you are indeed the magician. And you are remembering that there are powerful changes that are wanting to manifest themselves in your life. And you're stepping into the energy of trusting, trusting the timing of your own journey. And I told you 
that there is expansion that is here because you have the energies of the three of wands. <clears throat> the three of wands is an indication that your lucky break is coming. Your ships are coming in. Your blessings are coming in. So this is not the time for you to doubt. This is not the time for you to lose yourself in the struggle, but to you, for you to understand that you must be proactive as you're going towards a new beginning. As your blessings are coming in, you must be here ready to ride the wave. Because remember, I spoke about going with the ebb and flow of your life. So this is not the time for you to doubt. This is not the time for you to feel that life is not changing because in the background, life is changing. In the background, your blessings are being created. So this is why it is important for you as the magician to follow your intuition because your intuition knows the way. Your intuition is like that North Star. So follow your inner compass and your inner compass is going to be leading you to some lucky breaks. You're going to be at the right time, at the right place to meet the people who are meant to help you to find some magic that is meant to set you in a new direction. New directions are being indicated again by the energy of fire. It is important for you to work with the element of fire because again, you have received the energies of the wands. The wands are passionate. The wands are asking you, what do you want? The wands are reminding you that you are the magician and you hold the magic wand in your hand. So what are you going to create as the architect of your own life? What are you going to make for yourself? We are now seeing you here, understanding the assignment and going on a new journey as the energies of the page. The pages, as you can see, you are now ready to receive that magic wand. You are now ready to take your life by the horns and lead it in the direction that you are wanting to go in. You are now ready to work with the energies of divine timing because of the new beginning that is here. So the divine is saying to you, it is important for you to sit down, for you to ask yourself, what do I want in the next season of my life? And for, for you to be then proactive to get up and to go in the new direction so that you can receive the blessings that are rightly yours. So this is the divine energies that are currently around you. You've got beautiful energies connected to your luck. You've got beautiful energies connected to your passion, connected to your fire, remembering that you are the magician. And finally, the struggle is over. So don't keep on over attaching to the struggle, change the story, turn the chapter because the divine is saying that one chapter has ended and a new chapter that is beautiful where you are the archetype or architect, where you are the magician, where you're going with the ebb and flow of your life. You're riding the wave and the wave is indicating that there are new beginnings that are here where lucky breaks are just part of your normal experience. So make your wishes known to the divine. Remember that you are indeed the magician and luck is walking with you. So for those of you who are taking part in the quantum leap ritual, let's now go and do some magic where we're shifting from one experience and going in a new direction. So let's go and do the magic now. Hello, magician. This is the section of the reading where we are remembering that we are the magicians and the architects of our lives. This is the very same manifestation ritual that I used in 2023, and it only took me a couple of weeks to become a multimillionaire. I wanted to share this ritual with you because I want that by 2025, we have thousands of people who have manifested their dreams. Now, we are going to be taking this opportunity to work together as a community, wishing each other well. On every reading, please do remember to bring a full glass of water and your petition. You could write what you want to leave behind 
and on the other side have an empty glass with a petition of what you want to become a reality. We have our cards on the table and I use these cards just as a visualization to help me manifest. So I had this star card and the star card is all about your wishes coming true. And the next card that I had was the eight of wands encouraging my wishes to come true quickly, swiftly, fast. And then I had the magician card which was a reminder to me that I am the magician, I am the alchemist, and I am the architect of my life. So these are cards that I just chose to work with, but you don't have to do that. You can just keep it simple and to the point. So are you ready to take part in this ritual? So bring your two glasses, one empty and one full of water. The one with water, just remember to write what it is that you want to leave behind. Because you are going to be quantum leaping into what it is that you want. So on the empty glass of water, write what it is that you are seeing yourself enjoying. If you're wishing to win the lottery, just say with gratitude divine, I am so thankful that I have won the lottery. Infuse this type of energy, the energies of the nine of cups. Feel yourself like it's already done. Bring this vibe, this energy when you are writing your petition like it is already a reality. Think of yourself how you're going to feel when you've won the lottery. So let's take a moment to just say a prayer to the divine with words of gratitude. Divine, thank you so much for everything that I already have in my life. Thank you for all the blessings that I have. Divine, I am the luckiest person alive. Going forward, I have some wishes that I want to make. I see myself living the life of my dreams. I see myself quantum leaping to a new timeline divine where I have won the lottery, where I am a multimillionaire, where I am living the life of my dreams, where I am healthy, where I am loved, where manifestations just happen so easily and quickly for me. And of course, for the good of all involved, and harm to none. Ashe. Can you feel that vibration? Can you feel the smile on my face as I'm seeing myself living the life of my dreams as the energies of the Nine of Cups? And this is what you want to infuse in your water so that you can quantum leap into the new timeline. So what we're going to do next, we are going to now bring into physical reality the action of quantum leaping. Let's get ready to quantum leap into the new timeline. In, breathe in and feel yourself feeling like this. And take your water and see yourself jumping over into the new timeline. And as you are pouring the water into the next cup, into that empty vessel, see yourself feel the new reality becoming a manifestation into the tangible reality. Just feel and infuse this new quantum leap, infuse this new timeline with so much joy, with so much gratitude, with so much love. Thank you, divine. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now take that cup of water and drink it because now this is the new reality. This is the new timeline and the action of drinking the water is that water is going to become you, is going to become a part of you and water holds memory so we are drinking this water, holding the memory of the feeling of the energies of the Nine of Cups. We've really infused the joy. We've really infused this water with the gratitude. We have infused the love, the excitement and everything 
that we want as if it's already happened. So take a glass. Cheers. Enjoy the new timeline that is now becoming a part of you. <laughs> and so it is for the good of all and harm to none. Enjoy your new reality and remember to go in the comment section below and comment on eight people's manifestation. Because remember, by giving, you open up your hands to receiving. Ashay.